Hello everyone, this is Hamid. I am coming from the EC department at the University of Houston. I'm doing my PhD at the Computational Medicine Lab. And today I'm so glad to present some of my research in the Ken Kennedy Institute Data Science Conference. My today's presentation is about the closed loop control in variable machine interface architectures. What we mean by the variable machine interface architecture or WMI architecture is to use the variables to infer the brain activity and then estimating one hidden state inside the body and then by designing the control and close the loop we try to regulate that estimated state. For this purpose we actually explain two different projects. The first is the energy regulation in the patients with hypercortisolism. By monitoring the cortisol secretion and then inferring the brain activity we estimate the energy state. Then by designing the control and close the loop we try to help the patients to have a normal cortisol variations in their profile lead them to have the balanced energy variations. As the next step of this project, we actually focus on the cognitive stress regulation. For its purpose, we monitor the skin conductance as a good representative of the cognitive stress, then by inferring the brain activity and estimating the internal cognitive stress state we designed the control to keep that estimated stress state within the desired range. We explained the results in two excitatory and inhibitory class of controllers. In the first project, we actually aim to close the loop and do the energy regulation in the patients with hypercortisolism. So first of all, we simulate the cortisol data profiles based on the experimental data. Then by employing the state space approach and the Bayesian type filtering, we estimate the energy state. Then by designing the fuzzy control with these type of the rules and the membership function and all of the control criteria, we actually simulate the, both the open loop and the closed loop scenarios. In the closed loop scenarios, we can see in the highlighted background that with these pulse data controls, which resulted in these control actions, we could regulate the energy variations in the patients with Cushing disease or hypercortisol. In a similar way, we take the skin conductance data to estimate the cognitive stress state as a second project. Then we designed the fuzzy control to close the loop and regulate the estimated cognitive stress state. As an example, the aim was to actually increase the number of the spikes in the second half of the experiment as the executory class of controls. And for the inhibitory, the goal was to lower the number of the spikes and also decrease the levels of the cognitive stress state. For the future direction of this research, we plan to expand our model to include more type of the stress and also investigate on the effect of the non-invasive actuation and extracted dynamics.